TWB Podcast Hotline. We got to ask you right off the top, how's your knee doing right now? Uh, knee's doing fine. Um, of course, you probably know I totally tore the MCL and partially tore PCL. I've got a nice brace. I'm going through therapy, and I get another, uh, my second MRI uh, next Wednesday, and that way we'll see if, if, the, if the MCL is, is healing itself. If it's not healing itself, then, uh, then I will, uh, I'll go have surgery. But I wanted to give it, uh, my knee the opportunity to heal on its own and not go under the knife. Well, of course, that unfortunate injury came in your last fight against Thiago Alves at UFC 85 in England. Um, how easy was it to take that fight on such short notice? Uh, that, that really doesn't bother me. I, I tend to stay in pretty good shape. And um, I, to be honest, I like the matchup with Thiago and I. Um, you know, if I, wasn't, if, if I wasn't training or doing anything and I got, you know, a fight against someone like GSP, uh, you, you know, I, I would have said, no, I just I don't have enough time. But I like the matchup against Thiago enough to where the, the last minute uh, really didn't bother me. Yeah, and one thing that's been talked about a lot with that fight is the weight, weight issue. Um, you've taken fights before against guys who failed to make weight. Is that something that annoys you, or you just accept that when it happens? Well, you know, um, I don't know that I'd say it annoys me. Uh, you know, it's just I just think it's unprofessional. You know, here we are, we're... We're, we're in a sport where you got to make weight, and, and he doesn't make weight, and he misses weight by so much. I mean, I, I think four pounds or something. So really, uh, you know, did he even try and make weight or this and that? So, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd say really annoyed, but uh, definitely I think it's unprofessional. And, and um, you know, if, if I ever happen to, to not make weight, uh, I will die trying. You know, uh, it, it, it will never be four pounds over. You know, it'll be, you know, Matt couldn't make weight because he ran so much he had to go to the hospital. <laughs> I mean, so, uh, you know, I, I, I don't like it, but uh, what, what can you do? Yeah, now, Matt, am I, am I right in saying that you've um, uh, got one fight left on your current contract with the UFC? Uh, that is correct. Okay, and, and we're all hoping that that final fight is going to be against uh, Matt Serra. What's, what's the current status of that fight? Uh, right now, I've talked to Joe Silva quite a few times, and we're looking at maybe January. Uh, he has told me it's going to be Matt Sarah, so I'm looking at uh, January or February, and um, that'll give me my need plenty of time to heal um, if it's natural. If I have to go to the knife, I don't know what my time frame will be, uh, but, but we'll see. But um, right now, we're looking at it like January. Okay, and, and I mean... Is, is this going to be the last time that we'll see Matt Hughes uh, in the octagon? Uh, I can't. I can't tell you. Um, I don't know. After this, it's just going to be one fight at a time. You know, if I want to fight, uh, I won't. I won't sign a three-fight deal. Uh, you know, uh, it'll be just one fight at a time. So, so we'll see. But uh, you know, I uh, I love my farm. I love my hometown. I love my family. I've got a, a two-year-old little girl that uh, that needs to know who dad is. So, I mean, there's, um, I'll never stop working. I'm, I'm always going to work with my hands. I love it. And if I have to start working with my hands and get paid for it uh, because I don't want to be gone so much with the UFC, then that's what will happen. So, um, you, uh, you know, life's all about making decisions. And, uh, you know, after this fight, I'll be faced with the decision of, of uh, you know, what am I going to do and, and what's going to keep me around the house uh, more so I can be around my little girl. Okay, so you're going to be happy whatever you're doing. So it's a win-win situation. Yeah, correct. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll always be somewhat tied to the sport. I've got a great gym, you know, here here in Granite City, an hour from my house, which I go to a lot. So I'll always be tied to it because I'm, I'm coaching and this and that. And so, I mean, you know, uh, I'll, I'll never be totally out. But, uh, you know, training takes up a lot of time. Traveling when you're in the UFC, you know, doing PR and this and that just takes up so much time. So, so uh, I just got to weigh the options and see what goes on, see what goes on. 